Now this project is a bushing. I can see that it's a tubular piece. It has an inside diameter of 50 and an outside diameter of 75. There's a 10 millimeter hole that goes through just the top uh, located near the center. Let's start with that much and we'll look at how we can effectively use sketch planes to make this part. I'll start a new part studio. This is in millimeters. I will start a sketch and put it on the front sketch plane. And I want to draw the profile of the circular part of the bushing. So it has an inside diameter of 50 and an outside diameter of 75. Now these are fully defined because I have made the center point of these two circles coincident to the origin on the front sketch plane. With this profile created, I'll end this sketch and use my extrude to extrude that profile. And in this case, rather than going in one direction, I want it to extrude in both directions from my front sketch plane. And it has a total length of 50. That leaves my front sketch plane and the origin point sitting in the middle of my object, which allows me to use those points for other construction. So I'll accept this. Looking back at our drawing, the other features we said includes the hole at 10 millimeters, the notches on the side, which are five millimeters deep by 15 millimeters wide and look like they are also centered on the, uh, on the part. And then the notch in the front, which is 10 millimeters deep and 25 millimeters high. So we can add all of these and draw them on the top sketch plane. So I'll start a new sketch and I'm going to sketch on the top sketch plane. I'm going to view normal to the sketch plane and my object I can't really see through it so I'm going to change the visibility by changing it to translucent so that I can see through it. Now I can see the origin and I'll add the circle that will make the hole that's going to go through the top. I'll make it coincident to the origin and it has a diameter of 10 so the hole is added. Next I'm going to add this uh, notch that goes out through the side and it's centered also on the origin. Now I want to be able to use this line uh, that makes up the edge. So I'm going to choose Use uh, Projector Convert and choose this line so now that becomes part of uh, this particular sketch and I can use the information there. I'll choose a, uh, a center point rectangle and I want this rectangle to be on the center of this point, center of this line. You can see the uh, this square box light up showing me the center point. So I'm going to start my center point rectangle there. It's going to have a, uh, a width of 10 which is means that five of it will project into the, uh, the side of the bushing and 15 for a length. And now that this is created I can see I'm going to uh, escape. I see that I have undefined, these ends are undefined. So if I grab a hold of it and start to move it, uh, it's not constrained uh, to the center point which is where I want the center of that rectangle to be. So I'm going to use a horizontal constraint from the origin to the center of my rectangle and now that pulls it into place. Now it's the same on both sides so I'll use a center line. I'll make sure this is coincident to the origin and draw a center line vertically. Then I can use my mirror command. Choose that center line for my mirror line. Use a window to select that rectangle. I see it on the other side. I'll right click and escape mirror. So I can use those regions to cut out the notches on the side. Now I want to take care of this uh, 
notch that's cut on the front. Uh, I need to use this front line, so I'm going to uh, click on Use and click on this front line to include that as part of the sketch. I'll use a center point rectangle again. I want to project from the origin out here and I can see my snap box light up for the midpoint on this line and pull the, mid, the center point rectangle out. Now the length would be 20 or the width would be 20 so that it will project 10 millimeters into the object and for the length I'm not sure but I want it to be uh, coincident, this outside line coincident with the edge of the bushing that pulls it in and, uh, and makes it fully defined. So with those done I can accept this sketch, right click, choose isometric, and I'm ready to extrude. So I'll pick extrude and the first point that I want to extrude is for the hole. So I'll kind of reach inside and choose the hole. I can see that I, am, I don't want to add material, I want to remove material. Now it starts going down. I could grab the arrow and pull it up or I can use the arrow key here to reverse. And for my distance, rather than blind, I want to make sure it goes through the whole thing. So I'm going to say through all. And that shows that my even though it's translucent, I can still see that that hole is going to be created. If I want to change back to my shaded, that the hole is created just through the top and not through the bottom. Now, my sketch has other parts that I want to use, and so I need to turn the visibility back on. I will show the sketch, so now I can see the sketch inside and I'm going to use extrude again. Again I want to use remove material but uh, you notice that when it's inside the material there I have a hard time clicking on it or choosing it so one of the things I could do is turn off the visibility of the part and just use the inside parts of the sketch. Now in this case I want this to be symmetric so that I'm removing material above and below the line and we're removing and as far as the height goes um, I'm not sure let's turn the part visibility back on I want to make sure it goes past the edge and I'll accept this there seems to be a problem with the extrude I'll go back and edit seventy millimeter merge with all okay so that takes care of it I'll accept that and now that cuts that out of both of the edges I have one last uh, notch to cut out this is also going to be a remove it's going to be symmetrical symmetric I'll choose this cutout and it has a height of 25 millimeters. I'll accept that. Hit P to turn off my planes. I'll go over here and turn off the sketch. So sketch two. And I've created these cutouts uh, by using my different sketch planes. 